So here is the stocking that we're going to make together and I'll be using Deborah Norville collection from Premier and it's called Serenity Chunky Weight Yarn. And I love this yarn. I've always been a big fan of chunky weight anything so we can get our projects done quicker. And this uh, pattern is fairly easy. It starts from the bottom with a circle. And once you get the circle out to the diameter that we need, then you crochet even, then you're going to chain out and skip some of the stitches to create a space for the heel to be worked in later. Then you're going to continue up in just a long tube and then even the cuff is part of the long tube also. Then you just fold this back, you add a hanger, you go back and add the heel and then this cute little Christmas tree. So I'm going to start down here at the bottom and I'm using the Deborah Norville wood hook size L. So let's get started. Everything that you see in the video, the pattern, everything, the link will be below the video. So just look in the description. You start with a slip knot and you chain four. And then you slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring. And then you chain one and you work into the center of the ring and I also work over the end of my starting chain. So I'm going to work 12 double crochets into the ring. I have other videos that show you how to do a double crochet, how to do the chain, how to um, do these different um, stitches. So if you need help with the beginner, the basics, there's videos for you. It's my mission in this video to show you how to make a stocking. Okay, so to count my stitches, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And then I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet. So that's right here. And I'm going to go underneath the top two loops there. Yarn over, bring that through, and bring that through the loop on my hook. And that's joining with a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain one again, and I do a real loose chain one there. And I'm going to work two double crochets in each double crochet around. I'm going a little faster here because it's the repetition. Okay, now you join with a slip stitch in the first double crochet to close that round. So now you have two rounds. There was 12 double crochets here. Now there's 24 because you did two in each one around. Now the next one, I'm not going to, I'm only going to increase eight. Um, so I'm going to chain one here, work two double crochets. 
and then I'm going to double crochet in the next two. And then I'm going to work two. So I'm going to do an increase of two, I'm mean, an increase of one. I'm going to put two double crochets in the first one. Then I'm going to do a double double and then two and one and then a double double. So every third stitch is going to have an increase. So it'll add eight to the total. <clears throat> so it'll be 32 at the end of round three. Okay, now at the end, I'm going to join this round. Okay, so I've got my three rounds, and that matches the three rounds there at the bottom here. So now for the next, let me see, one, two, three. So it's um, one, two, three. This will be round four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So rounds four through nine will be worked even. Right there. So all you do is chain one and you just double crochet in each one around. And then you join as I showed you before. So when you get up to row nine, round nine, then we'll come back and start the heel. So you just go even for rows rounds four through nine and then join and then come back. Rounds one through nine are complete from for my stocking for the bottom part here and now I'm going to show you how to create the opening for the heel. So on round 10 you crochet 20 double crochets and that's what I've got here and then you chain 12 loosely. So one, two, three. And then you skip 12 double crochets from round nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve are going to be skipped. And then you join. So I'm going to join right here in my first double crochet. And see right there is my opening for the heel. So then on round 11, chain one, double crochet in the same, double crochet, and then you just double crochet in each double crochet and chain around. So I'll come around here and then I'll work double crochets in the chain and in the stitches all the way around. And then I will work even on 32 double crochets until round around row 21. So I'm going to go in the chains right here and the double crochet stitches and then continue even all the way up to here. So I'll come back on camera when I've got this part finished. I have finished the body of the stocking and now I'm going to show you how to add the cuff. So you start with the last stitch of 
the um, body of the stocking round and instead of working on the right side the way you were doing the body now you're going to attach your yarn from the inside from the wrong side of the stocking and the reason why you want to do that is so that when you fold the cuff over the right side of your stitches will be facing the outside so this one was started from the inside here and all the rounds for the cuff were worked from the wrong side of the stocking but when you turn it over it lands up being the right side so to do that you start with a slip knot and you join the yarn in the mark stitch with a slip stitch and then to join with a slip stitch you just have a loop on your hook you go into the stitch you want to join to you yarn over draw that through and draw that through the loop on your hook and you can tighten this a little bit and then you chain one and work a double crochet in the same stitch and in each double crochet around so then you just work your rounds for your stocking and you join it the same way you were joining the body rounds and it looks like there's about um, six rounds on the stocking for the uh, six rounds on the cuff and um, you just join those the same way and then when you get that finished you finish off and I'll come back and show you how to do the little loop the heel and the tree I have my cuff finished and now I'm ready to start the heel for the heel I'll be working in the opening that I created in round 10. I'll be working in the skip double crochet stitches and in the post of this double crochet which means in the side of it and in the unused lo loops of the chain. So to get started the directions read to skip six of these double crochets so I'm going to, I won't count this one here because I worked in that one right here. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'll join with a slip stitch in the next one right here. <laughs> and to do that, I'm going to insert my hook from front to back like this, yarn over and bring that through, and that's joining with a slip stitch. And I'm just going to chain one and I'm going to work a double crochet in that same stitch. When I come around and join, you won't see that there. So then it says to double crochet in the next four double crochets. You can do a chain three there to count as a double crochet, but that's why I like to do it, to work the actual stitch. So now I've worked my four double crochets and it says single crochet in the last double crochet right there. And then it says to single crochet over the post of the first double crochet of row 10. So that's the, see that little side there? So I'm going to go right in here with a single crochet. And then working in the unused loops of round 10, you work a single crochet in the first loop. and then you double crochet in the next 10. So I've got three, six, Okay, then you single crochet in the next one right here in the next loop and then you single crochet in the opposite post uh, double crochet on the other side right there okay then you're gonna not work in that one because it's been worked in already and you do a single in the next one 
Then you double crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. I always like when my numbers work out good. Okay, so now you join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet and that's where my first double crochet right there so I'm going to ignore that chain one I'm going to insert my hook there yarn over and bring that through so that completes round one of the heel so round two I'm going to chain one double crochet in the same stitch there and then I'm going to double crochet in the next four Okay, then I am going to single crochet in the next three single crochets. And then I'm going to double crochet in the next ten. Okay, I'm a single crochet in the next three single crochets. Okay, and then I'm a double crochet in the next five, I think it is. Yep. Like that. Okay, then I'm going to join like I did before. Chain one, double right there. Your directions may say chain three. Um, in typical directions it says that. But see, when I join, you really can't see the... Um, it's a, I don't know, a nicer join, except that you do have that little chain one showing up there. But it kind of fills it in better, I think. So on round three, you chain three, double crochet in the next three doubles. And then you're going to single crochet in the next double crochet. Then you're going to work a single crochet decrease over the next three singles. So to do that, you're going to draw up a loop in this one, in this single. You're going to skip this single right here, and you're going to draw up a loop in here. And then you yarn over and draw through all three. And then you single crochet in the next double. And then you double crochet in the next eight. Okay, then you single crochet in the next one. And then you, you're going to work another single crochet decrease here. So you draw up a loop here, skip this one, and go into the next one. And then you work a single here, and double back to the first double crochet. Only one more round and we'll be done with the heel. Okay, I'm going to join into the top of the first double there. And I'm going to work the next round. I'm going to do the same thing, chain one, double. Okay, on round four, it says to double crochet in the next two. You see how the heel is starting to form right here? And then we'll sew this together. Okay, so double crochet in the next two. Okay. 
All right, single crochet in the next one. We're coming into that little corner there. All right, so then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to work another single crochet decrease like we did before. And you're going to drop a loop here, skip this one, and drop a loop here, and then yarn over and draw through all three loops on your hook. Then you single crochet in the next one, double crochet in six. Okay, then you single crochet in the next one, and then you work a single crochet decrease over here. So I'm going to insert my hook here, drop a loop, skip that one, and go into the next one. And then draw through all three. And that's my single crochet decrease, single in the next one, double crochet back to the first double crochet of round four. And then I join like that. Okay, then I'm done. So my heel, when it's folded out like this, looks like that. It's cute. Okay, so I'm going to finish off and I'm going to leave a very long end so I can sew that together. So I'm going to pull this out. And then I'm just going to, actually, I didn't need to leave such a long end. I could have just joined new yarn. And what you want to do is sew both sides of these loops together so that you don't see any of the uh, loops from the seam here. So you just go in there and you join these two loops to those two loops and you sew it together from the wrong side. So you turn it. Wrong side out, come back here. To sew the heel opening closed, I've turned my stocking wrong side out and I want to sandwich these together like this. They don't go like this or else you'd have a little Pokemon thing there. Um, you want them to go like this. And this is the end when I finished off. And I will just um, work this over or else I could join a new yarn right here. But I'll just work this over to the side like this. And what I want to do is catch both loops of the, double, of the stitches from round four of the heel. So when I go in here, I'm going to match up the single crochet stitches right here but I'm going to grab both loops of each side like that. Okay. Then I'm going to come down here and grab both loops here and both loops here of the first double crochet there. And then I'm going to grab the next two loops and I'm just going to grab the corresponding loops So you won't see that seam on the other side. It'll be invisible. Okay, and then you want to pull this a little bit and make sure it's kind of snug. You don't want it really loose. Okay, this is all you do to sew the heel together. And then the last two single crochets right there. I'm going to give it one more tug here. And then I'm going to go over, whip stitch over this a couple of times to secure it. And then I'm going to feed this back through the stitches like this. Okay. And I cut right here. And I'll look on the other side and see what my heel looks like. Okay, let's see. Great reveal. Okay, so there's the heel. 
And the way I sewed the um, stitches together, you can barely see where, I, where it was sewn. So that's how you do the heel. And then all we need to do now is the tree, which I have a tree right here without my end sewn in. And then I'll show you how to put um, the loop on top. For the tree, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised on how easy this is. Um, I started from the point down here and I crocheted in rows going up and then on the center two single crochets I crocheted the little trunk. So let me show you how to make that. Um, and it's going to look really cute on the stocking like that. I think this would be cute if you did little red beads on it too. So let me get that out of the way. Start with a slip knot and you chain five. And then you single crochet in the fifth chain from hook, or it might say the first chain, but you just go over here, work a yarn over, draw that through, single crochet, and that completes row one right there. And then you chain five and turn. And then you do two single crochets in the single. And then you chain five, turn. And you're turning like the page of a book, like that. And you'd work two singles in the first single. And then you single in the next. And that's row three. One, two, three, four, five. And turn. Two singles on the first one. It's pretty much all the same, each row. One, two, three, four. Four, five. That was row four. Now here's five. I'm going to work two singles on the first one. I'm always chaining five and turning. That creates the leaves, the little branches. Okay, turn. Two singles on the first one. Single the next. Single the next. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there we have the six single crochets at the bottom. And we're going to finish off right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to chain one and cut this back here. And pull that out and now I'll show you how to do the trunk. For the tree stem I've, I'm going to be using a little bit of saturate yarn and I'm going to skip the first two single crochets and then I'm going to join with a single crochet to the next single crochet. So to do that I've got a um, slip knot on my hook. I'm going to insert my hook from front to back through the third single crochet, yarn over, draw that up, yarn over and draw through the two loops on my hook and that's joining with a single crochet. Then a single crochet in the next single crochet and that's row one. Then I chain one turn and I'm going to work two singles in the first single crochet, single crochet in the next, and that completes row two. Then I'm going to chain one turn and work single crochet even on row three. And that's how easy it is to create the stem. There. So now that's the Christmas tree for our stocking. Now I'm going to show you how to create a hanger for your stocking and in round um, 23 of the cuff, uh, which is the first round of the cuff, um, you were instructed to mark the first stitch and that's where we're going to join to create the hanging loop 
and I wanted it there so that you'd have a folded edge up here of the cuff instead of down here um, where the red would be showing. I think it looks nicer to have the, a white edge up here at the top to match the rest of the cuff. So anyway, you start with a slip knot on your hook and the mark stitch would be right here and you're going to join with a slip stitch in that stitch so to do that you insert your hook from front to back like this yarn over bring that through and bring that through the loop on your hook and then I tighten my starting chain on that one so then you chain 12 for the loop And then you just slip stitch back in the same exact stitch right there. Slip stitch and then chain and tighten the, the uh, knot side of that chain. And then just cut from behind so you have enough length to sew your ends in. So that's it. That's how you make the hanger. You just sew those ends in and then sew your tree on here and you're good to go that's how you make the the uh, christmas stocking and i hope you enjoyed these lessons and thank you very much for watching